Alright, I've got another challenge lock here. This is pinned up by Bobby Keys. Doesn't have a name though, but if we can pick it open. <laughs> oh goodness. Use this pick. I think this is a Tron. I'm not positive. This is the one that uh average picker sent me to mess with because I've never used any sparrows picks. And honestly, if you can hit something from the bottom of the keyway really well, I don't really care for this pick. But if you're picking off a ledge and don't have much room between the ledge and the pins, this thing works really well. Let's see here. I do have a key. Again, that was pinned up by Bobby Keys. It doesn't have a name. There's the bidding. Freaking hacksaw. Awesome, awesome. C clip. Oh, good. I like the C clips that are not a pain in the ass to take off. And that one was not. Thankfully. Did we lock back up? No, we didn't. Okay. Let's see here. That not gonna go through? Huh. I don't reckon it is. Odd, odd, odd. Let's see if this one will go through there. What is causing me to get hung up there like that? I've got an idea. Alright, we're gonna try something and hope for the best here. That is circuit. Yeah. I think we can gut it like this and then put a follower in it afterwards. So. Just have to do this backwards. What you doing to us, Bobby? Making this mess with stuff like this. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I do not want to drop some key pins. <laughs> Actually, looks like this was a six or a lock with six chambers, but it was only ten to five. I could be wrong on that, but I don't believe I am. And two. I must be going crazy or something. I could have swore I just seen six chambers in there. Holy crap! It is too early. 
let's dump these key pins. Oh yeah. Very nice pins. Alright, we have threading in five, threading in three, and two as well, and it looks like one, yep, and one also, and in the core, two, three, and five are threaded as well. Look at these pins here. Alright. Number one, we have a really nice serrated pin with spool elements. Number two is the same. And number three is as well. Number four looks or looks like a very deep spool with a sharp end on it. And number five also looks similar to that with a serration at the bottom of it. Then for the key pins, on one we have, looks like a serrated. Number two is serrated. Number three is serrated with a T-pin element. Number four is a spool with a serration in the middle of it. And number five is also serrated and upside down. Oh. We'll fix that in a minute. Those are some very nice pins, though. Let's fix that dude real quick. Alright, there we go. Cat, what are you doing? Here. Black monkey boy. I had to do something with the cat, too, who's a crazy little thing, as usual. Now, let's get this dude back together. Mm, let's see, how are we going to do this? Interesting indeed. I think we can snag that spool actually. Get this thing in here. Fairly easy. Good deal. Yep, we can. So the only thing I hate about these long springs is putting these back together can be a pain in the ass sometimes. I found a couple tricks that help a lot. The more you mess with them, the more you figure out how to do it without taking 10 years. In some instances, anyway, sometimes that uh, does not work so well. Like now, as I just say that. <laughs> uh, I should have kept my mouth shut. Actually, wasn't as bad as I thought, though. I thought it be. <laughs> oh, damn it. There we go. One nice thing about those serrations and spools is you can kind of catch them on the end of that uh, follower if you do it right. Kind of hold them in place. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes it works, and it saves a lot of aggravation. Gotta be careful.
careful not to shoot one across the room because I have done that. Let's make sure that everything lines up in here. And that it does. It's kind of sticky still, but not too, too bad. Alright, let's see. How are we going to do this now? Just like this. Yeah, huh. The follower's a little wider than the plug itself is, so it didn't want to go in, but, or to gut it, it worked to reassemble it, thankfully. Oh yeah, very smooth, very smooth. Alright, and y'all have a good one.